I want to try this upgrade that I really have never used before. No, not Striker. But I'm feeling a little ballsy, so let's do Chimps mode and try it out. I'm thinking the Marine, so that's the middle path heli pilot. X5X. I believe it costs $30,000 on hard mode, or maybe even more than that. Let's see. 324. Hmm. It's a lot of money to afford, but it. The Marine itself, when it's active, is really, really good. It's just very expensive for only an ability that's up. Not all the time. Probably less than half the time, but anyways. Let's get through this early game on Moon Landing Chimps first. I think we have to start with Dark Monkeys, honestly. We don't have a lot of towers. I wish we could start with a Mortar, but too much money. So we'll do the usual three Dark Monkey starts. I also want to try out Bomb Towers plus Striker, but that's not really the main. The main goal is the, the Marine. And then try to survive in between. Okay, Striker now. Where to? Here? I think here's okay. There we go. Striker Jones. We're gonna fall with Bomb Towers, but not yet. We need some Cam Rejection. Wizards are pretty good. Because they can see through the crater with their upgrades. And they can pop Camo. Let's get 201 first. 202 actually. And then Heli. Sounds like a plan. We should get a Village first, honestly. Money might be tight in this challenge. One, because we're going for a Marine. Also because when you're getting to the Marine, you have to spend money to buy a Chinook upgrade, and one of the abilities, it gives you lives and cash. Here's the catch. Chimps doesn't allow you extra income or lives, so the ability is literally useless. We're spending 10k on nothing. That might come back to hurt us a lot. Um, pink balloons, pink balloons. Let me just striker that up. And let me hope that we can beat this round, because I can get my heli next round, actually. I need this guy first, monkey sense. And that should clean up the rest, okay. Pretty sketchy early game, but we're almost to the heli pilots. And I will put it... Doesn't really matter, honestly. Doesn't matter if it's a ranger striker. We don't have Gwendolyn this time, so we don't really have to worry about that. Let's use striker oh, again, okay. That was a bad one. So, how about here? And we need to get a cheaper discount village first, to save some money. The fact that it won't give lives on chimps, the only benefit that you have is the moving of towers, which is kind of useful on chimps, since you can't sell. Therefore, we can move our useless dart monkeys, which are currently blocking the way, aka this one, like, to the right of the village right now. Might be useful to rearrange our defense, if we ever need to. And down draft now. Cool. So yeah, 10... No, no, even more than... Wow. 12, 9, 60. I thought it was 10k. No. It's 12k. Almost 13, actually. That's a lot of money. Bomb towers are really good. In case you didn't know already. Unfortunately, it's out of range of the village. That's okay. We'll probably get another village to buff this village later. But for now, let's get a 203 for next round. That'll take care of the balloons. We just need to kill the top layer, which should be an issue. We got Striker's ability. We got Wizard 2. We got some Dart Monkeys. Doing one damage at a time. Striker now, just to stun. All we need to do is get to pop, and then... Downdraft will do the work. The rest of the work for us. See? Just as I said. Let's get a an Arcane Spike. That'll be some pretty good more bomb power for now. While we wait for a Marine. Also get some more bomb towers too. Let me just get one more 204 for backup. And let me save towards a Chinook now, because I want to rearrange my defense. I did not manage my, my placements correctly. We need to make space for more villages, more bombs, everything. Primary training, that's what I'm talking about. We need two villages, that's why... I need to get this guy, which I will right now. Support Chinook. Oh, so I see. We don't even have the ability. It's like gone. Not activatable. Actually, it's here, but if we press it, nothing happens. But I want this one. First of all, I need to move this Dark Monkey out of the way to make room for another Bomb Tower. We're going to slowly revamp our defense. Let me try to move this Bomb Tower here. The power of the Chinook boys in Chimps mode. Allowing you to, uh, move your tasks for free. Well, for a price of this, but we're getting this anyway, so I'm gonna assume, or... I'm gonna act like it's free. The main goal is not to buy the Chinook, it's to buy the Marine, and we're actually over halfway there, surprisingly. Holding up pretty well. Ah, shit, we can't move our, our uh, village. I just realized. So is there any place we can place a village? A village is not placed on top here, I can't even move the heli pilots. This is... unfortunate. 
Okay, let's do this then. Let me get a village here. This will be a primary training so that it can buff these bomb towers. How does that sound? And then we get a MIP here. Sure. Are we alive this round though? Let me get three more of these. Three recursives. And is that enough to beat this round? Let me just use Strict Stun. Come on. Wow. I don't know when this got changed to be so good, but this combo is great now. Especially on Chimps mode. So, we bought it. Nice. Let's hope we can uh, beat the rest of these rounds then. With this 32.4k upgrade, that's only up, I don't know, a quarter of the time or a third of the time, up to. Let me try it right now, actually. Activate. And here's where it drops. I believe it drops under wherever the hell he is, so because we're over unplaceable land, it just went to the next closest place, which is to the right here. Look at those pops go up. 10k and counting. So, of course, it's expected to be at least this good, you know? For an upgrade that's only ability, and you see it's off cooldown, or it's gone now. Looks like the uptime is about, I don't know, 60% with no MK? Because we almost have it back up again, so that's not bad. I thought it was going to be way worse, like 30%, 40%, but no. It's not the worst thing in the world, so like, let me even drop it again, hold on. This time we'll drop it under the village. Is there space? Indeed there is, look. It found space, although the issue with this map... I don't think the Marine is that great on this map. Because, yeah, he can't see through. He's like a sniper. And snipers are not great on this map, sadly. That's fine, though. The good thing is that you can place your Marine wherever you want. So you just move the heli to wherever it is. And voila. Easy. So activate right now. And watch it go to work with the rest of these, uh, rest of these BFBs. Moabs and nothing. 7k pops. Not too shabby. Alchemist can't target the Marine. You have to buff the heli. Oh, okay, so if you buff the heli, it buffs the marine too. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Well, that makes things a lot easier then. We don't have to move dart monkeys over here like what I'm doing right now, so... I'm sorry, dart monkey. Let me bring you back. Instead, we can do this. There we go, a 402. Again, the issue is that the marine shoots so fast that the uptime of the marine is... is really not that much, but... So here's how we're gonna beat rounds without using marines. Get a mib get a primary training for the bomb towers, and that's about it. It's kind of hard to see, like, the effect, but it just buffed. Let me drop the heli, or the marine, and move the heli away. So I assume the marine will be doing more damage in this case now. It kind of looks to be the case. Yeah, 14k already. Jeez. So according to Rohan, if you alchemist the heli and then spawn a marine, the marine will have a permabrew upgrade. I see. So it doesn't matter if you have the heli attack in or not. It just has to have an Alchemist buff when you drop the Marine, because the Marine will in inherit all the buffs the main heli has. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Just to clear any confusion of how the Marine worked, so... So, in fact, the Alchemist plus Marine combo is actually insane. It also works with Call to Arms, so you can get Perma CT on the Marine, damn. So, if we want 50% attack speed, we can legit do that, okay. Let's wait for an Alchemist buff, and then we can use the Marine, the OP Marine. Just watch the heli, or the alchemist, closely. That was that was not a buff, that was a green buff. Oh, there it is, there it is. Marine. And now it should be insanely buffed, let's see. Hopefully no crashes. Oh yeah, that's definitely a buff. Never got anywhere close to this many pops. The last time I got it, no way. So yeah, the green buff is the lead pop power, which is not any stronger. It just allows it to pop leads. The red buff is the buff you want. DDT time. How are the bomb tires versus DDTs? If we need to, we'll drop a marine. We actually haven't had to use the marine for quite a while. That just goes to show how good the bomb tower defense is. Like, if you just take out the marine from the equation, you got like 50k remaining. And... Let me just drop it back over here. Aw, oh, shit. The line of sight. What a waste of the marine buff, eh? What a shame. It could do so much damage, but it's just... This map is a little subpar, so... Like, what you're what I'm showing right now is actually underestimating how good the Marine is. Just because it can't attack a lot of the time. So try this on a map that does not have such bad line of sight issues. And you'll have a much easier time, I'll, I'll tell you that. With that said, I'm sure the rest of these towers can finish off the rest of this round. So, should we wait for an Alch Alchemist buff? I think so. I think it just got buffed, let's use it. And how long does it last? Curious. Will it last as long as, like, 
the DTs are still coming out. That's pretty important to know, but either way, look at this thing. Doesn't even let, let the DTs get past. It's just that good, guys. So never underestimate the Marine. Just because you don't use it, or nobody ever uses it, doesn't mean it's bad. You gotta try it out and see. Although, that may still apply, or still may be true to other upgrades like Super Mines, which nobody ever uses because it's bad. Not the Marine's case, though. Definitely an underrated upgrade after playing this. This round is a bitch. Let me see if I can use the CTA combo this time. So we won't have the Marine for the start of the round, that's okay. Oh, there's a buff, there's a buff. CTA. Marine. There we go. So now the Marine's insanely strong. Look at the pops. Let me put over it. Actually, no. The balloons aren't out of range yet. Da God damn it. <laughs> so it's not really raking up a lot of damage. We might have used it a little early. That's okay. Let me just hope it lasts long enough because the effect is pretty much permanent. Like, until the actual tower goes away, but the effect itself lasts for as long as the Marine is up. So... There's a pink balloon, there's a pink balloon, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stun? Downdraft? Jesus Christ. Downdraft is actually coming in clutch. This round. Marine still has a good 20 seconds left. Once it goes around 60%, I think, duration, it's gone. Let me keep the heli back here. I think this is actually going to kill it, wow. That's crazy. Even using it early, it's going to work, Jesus. Well, God bless Marine. Don't know why I do without ya. Now for 99, we have no abilities. Uh, That's okay, we have 18k to spare. There's no way we're gonna die here. Hmm. When I say there's no way we're gonna die, I mean... We can drop some more glues for this round. Because of no marine. And if, you know what? I'm gonna do just that. Let's try one recursive camo and then two glues. Maybe that's enough to slow down the DTs enough. We'll see. And maybe if we slow it enough, we could get it so that, well, we can get our Marine back in cooldown. And then use that to beat the rest of this round, I don't know though. We need more Strikers ability, but it's the cooldown for it is just a little bit, just a wee bit too long. So we can only use it once, sadly. Anyways, it's not going to pop, is it? No. Well, some of it will pop, but not enough. I wonder if the key is getting a good cock explosion, so we'll get one concoction and then two more glues. Let's go. Sabo won't come off in time, that's why I'm not getting it. Abilities in BD6 work a lot differently, so that's a rip. Sad as it is to say, let's use the stun, that's a really good stun. A lot of wounds at once. But I'm hoping if we get a good explosion, we can explode a bunch of DTs alongside. And that's gonna beat this round. In theory. Although, we're not getting any explosions yet. Nothing. Something, please. Just one is all we need. Darn. I don't know. Two fighter planes. Will that even work? Will it even target DTs like I wanted to? Find out now. I believe fighter planes are targeting first. Come on. Actually, it targets whatever. Wherever it hits first, I think. Looks like. Please, 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 target the right place. Not the Moabs, I want the DTs. Uh, hold on, hold on. I have my finger on the settings button. Settings, downdraft, downdraft. Thank you. Wow. How the hell did fighter planes work? I did not think that would be it. But, well, there it is. Was that the act buff? I think it was. So we can actually drop the Marine right now for the buff. But let me wait. I need to get Call to Arms back ASAP. So, Call to Arms Marine. There we go. I think in this position, the Marine should shoot inside the bad, this area. I forgot to use this for double damage on bomb towers. Oopsies. Anyways, our, our Marine is almost back. We could drop it once the bat exits. So not here, it's too late. The bat's entering the crater. Uh, I feel like if we drop it, it's now early, but let's do it anyways. Call to Arms Marine, and wait. I also should be moving my towers, yes. Let me do that real quick. This is bad, actually. Hold on. 5k pops, which is not- oh, there it is, there it is, holy crap. Stall that. Um, 
Oh, DTs. No, no, no. Damn. So play. Marine immediately. Yeah, that's it. We can only move two towers this round, so it's going to be Concoction first and then Wizard later. I've already made up my mind for the most part on this one. And yeah. That's about as much as we can do. So let me move the Concoction all the way over here. In preparation for next time. You know what really sucks? Because of this chips mode, that's why it's so hard. Like, we, if it was on Popo, we could just sell stuff and get, like, a first... Not a first strike, but something else that would beat this round easily, but no. Just had to be like this. So, get ready to use all three abilities. There we go. Call to Arms. Double damage. And Marine. Same as usual. And then get ready to use, uh, move this guy, Arcane Spike. Wizard's still attacking, so I won't use it yet. Let me move it now. I think it's out of range. So where? Where to? Does it matter? Uh, if we do it beside the Alchemist, no. Let's do it over here. Don't know if that's going to do anything, but sure. So the good thing is that the Wizard will help for DTs. Oh, it popped, it popped. Striker. We don't have the Marine back. Aw, oh, shit. Come on, Wizard, you can do this. We need Marine back now, ASAP. There you go. Marine. Jesus Christ, that was really close. I believe Call to Arms does work on the uh, Marine though right now, but we should time our um, Striker uses so that the Marine is still attacking when we stun it, like that. That's good. Just gotta hope the Marine lasts long enough, honestly. I thought it would last long enough, but no. Let me just drop a YOLO free. A boomer. Call to Arms. Please, 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 please. So close, concoctions, concoctions. More Serams? Yes! Holy shit. That was way harder than I thought it would be. The last two rounds at least. But we did it. We actually did have to use the Heli's ability, which I find insane. It was actually useful. If we didn't have it, we'd, we'd be dead. I'm dead serious. Marine OP, but not on this map, guys. Don't use Marine in this map. I'm telling you. Do not use it. And the Insta. A bomb shooter. Not, not bad. 